That first quarter, uh, you know, we got a lot of stops. Y'all got, got off the field, three and out. We, we preached every single down. And I feel like we, we did our job, didn't give up that many yards, that many points we wanted to do. So. You walked through that interception. What happened on that? Uh, you said so. The interception, can you walk through what, what you saw? Uh, really just the quarterback eyes, the receiver, me getting depth. It helped me a lot so I could see everything. And then me watching film, really, I just knew he was going to do the corner. And then that was just me just breaking. And then my corner, he got depth, so it made it a difficult throw for him. What's your thoughts on you guys' performance defensively? And what do you guys, what can you guys take over into next week's game? Uh, Say so yes, I didn't So what's your thoughts on you guys' performance tonight. Okay. What things can you take into next week's game? Uh, I feel like uh, just today, def defensive wise, we went out there with a chip on our shoulder. Uh, we feel like everybody just been down us. Uh, of course, we've been giving up a lot of yards and a lot of points these past few weeks. So we wanted to come out here and just show really what type of defense we was and just dominate like always, like we know we can do. So I think next week just it's a big week for us, rivalry. Week. Uh, we gotta just attack the week and just stay on top of it. When the defensive line is getting home like they did today, especially with Thule, how does that make your job easier? Uh, it makes my job very easy. When they, when they get into the QB, it gives him less time to get the ball out, and then it also it also scares the QB back there. Kind of hesitate to throw the ball, but it makes everybody's job in the back end easier, and we expect them to do that. The offense started quite quite slowly. Uh, how, how much responsibility did you guys feel as a defense to kind of get things started, especially with that safety and then the strip sack? Uh, I would say we didn't feel – no pressure. We feel like we feel like it was no responsibility. We got our brothers back, and they got our back. So we knew they was gonna pick it up. Uh, so we just went out there and played our game and just get them the ball back. How big was this win? Obviously, Blackman used to play there, and, and for the whole DB room in general, because you guys been rolling rock throughout the season. Uh, this is a real big win, especially for my guy Makai, uh, especially transferring from there. Uh, but for the DB room, I would say this is a really big win for us. I feel like we went out there and we had a lot of plays we could have made up, but I still, I still feel like we did good out there. Between this game and the Cal game, what do you feel like? How do you feel like you've grown personally as a Uh Really, just from this game and Cal game, I would say me taking control out there, uh, being a quarterback of the defense, how Coach Grinch always tells me to be and just be that guy in the back end, really. So I'll say that. And Cal Week, we had a lot of miscommunication. And I will say it's, it's my job to really get the back end really lined up and make sure we're all on the same page. How's Bryce kind of coming in? How's he kind of shirt up as a veteran back in with you guys? Uh, Bryce is uh, coming in and helps our defense a lot. Really smart player. Uh, he's always going to do his job, always going to make sure everybody's doing their job, and he just got our back every time we're out there. And him being a veteran, it just makes it easier for everybody. It makes it easier for me, too. Coming down the stretch last year, you guys had four wins. You're 9-1 and one right now. Like, How different does that feel for you? Uh, of course, it feels real different. We're winning right now uh, from last year, a lot of losses. But I would say it just we just going out there and just playing USC football like we know how. What was the best part about seeing guys come in, you know, like Gentry is injured, but, you know, have to get backups coming in and performing well? How big is that for the morale of the rest of that game? Uh, it's real big. Of course, uh, Eric's a real key player to our defense, uh, one of the leaders. But just the backup, they, they're they ready for anything. We're always prepared. They're, they're prepared to go out there and do their job. So if their numbers getting called up, it's their time. But it's really impressive to me seeing them guys go out there and just showing what they're capable of. It, it, it excites me to see them guys go out there and play. If you'll indulge me in a rivalry game question. Obviously, you guys are going to be playing UCLA next week. And John Humphrey, which is in high school as you, what's it going to be like to be able to play against him? Uh, it's, it's, it's it's really a big game, uh, especially for me. I'm back home in Pasadena, California. Grew up in the Rose Bowl, watching watching them play. Uh, me playing high school, playing my high school rivalry there. Uh, so I'll say that's really a big game for me and for us, really, just rivalry. Week. But yeah, we can't wait. To have to have a school that has two starters, that has starters on both teams, kind of the same high school. What does that mean to you, just to represent your? Uh, it, it means a lot. It, it means like we we have the city behind us. We know we have our city behind us, and us coming from the same high school. It just we're really, really trying to motivate everybody from our high school, really the kids there, and I'll say and that's a big deal for us.
Are you close with John? Do you? Yeah, John. Him? John's my boy. John's my boy. Are, are you gonna be talking next week during leading up to Rebel? Uh, probably, or? probably not. No. <laughs> probably block him. <laughs> Just wait till after. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.